Problem 13. Layla took five math tests, each worth a maximum of 100 points. Layla's score in each test was integer between 0 to 100 inclusive. Layla received the same score in the first word test, and she received the highest score in the last test. Her average score on the five tests was 82. How many values are possible for Layla's score on the last test? Well, let's say for the first word test, she got a score of X, and the last one, she got a score of Y. Well, then that's the total number of points given per five exams, must give an average of 82 points per exam. That's just the interpretation of the information given. So then if we simplify, 4X plus Y must give um, a, that's a 0, and a 4, 1, 0. Now we have to make some assumptions, right? Y has to be less than or equal to 100. So then let's just try values from there. But before we even do that, what other restriction is there for Y? Y is larger than X, right? But then we know that the average was 82. But let's say Y was equal to 82. What would happen? Well, then that means if Y is 82, that would result in 5X over 5 is equal to 82. So that means every single every single test score she got would have been 82. So in other words, Y cannot be 82 because otherwise it would not satisfy the condition where the, the last test was higher than all the rest. So our bound is from here to here. So we just need to find values that work. Um, and let's just try, well, let's just isolate. 4X is equal to 410 minus Y, right? And this has to be a multiple of 4. So that has to be a multiple of 4. What is the closest multiple of 4 from 410? That's, that's less than it. Well, first thing that comes to mind is 400. Um, and is there anything else? We can also do, what, 412. But 412 is larger, so that means we can only do 400. So 400 is the smallest, is the smallest um, value of value that's multiple by four, divisible by four. That's closest to 410 and less than it. So that means if this is equal to 400, right? Y must equal 10. Now, if Y is equal to 10, obviously that is now within the bounds. So it has to be much, 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 much less. So let's try just values within this bound. We don't, we cannot just like assume and guess like like the way I just did it here. Let's try 83. When I plug in 83, I end in as something that's seven. That won't work. Let's try 84. If I have 84, that's 410 minus 84. That gives 6323, 326. Does that work? Um, oh, uh, right, uh, 336. Three, that would not work. So what else would work? Um, let's try from the upper bound. Uh, let's do 85. So if I have 85, that ends in a 5. That won't work. Let's try 86. 86 work well, work well, ends in 4, so that might have a chance. So 2, 3, 3, 2, 4. Well, that obviously works, right? Because then x would have some value, and that would satisfy the condition. So we can have an 86. Now let's try, um, I don't know, we cannot do 87. That ends in 3. We cannot do 88. That ends in a 2. Well, that might work. So let's do that. 2, 2, 3. Well, that doesn't work. So 88's out. 89 ends in 1. That won't work. Um... What about 90? Well, 90 gives me 320. Well, that obviously works. We have a 90. But wait a minute, look at the pattern here. We added a 4 to get to the next one. So maybe we have to add a 4 to get to 94. Maybe. I am not too sure right now. So let's do 410 minus 94, 613. And that obviously works. So, okay, so we have an established pattern. We have 94, then we must have 98. Then we should be good because the next one will be 102, and that would be too high. So we only have four possible choices. That means our answer choice is answer choice A.